Okay guys, uh, I want to do a little bit of, of an episode here on uh, case stuffing plates on how uh, easy they are to install. Um, so right here we got uh, the cases. Um, we've uh, prepared them. A little bit of sandpaper on the inside to smooth them out, get them nice and smooth. Smooth out the inner inside. A little bit of uh, emery cloth. Okay, so after we've uh, cleaned this up, on the inside made nice and smooth. Um, we're gonna prepare one of these uh, case stuffing plates. They're uh, cut pretty close to uh, what they should be for your case. Some cases are just slightly different. So um, sometimes it requires just a little bit of grinding uh, to get them to fit nice and flat. And when they sit inside your case, uh, there should be no movement like this up and down of your plate. They should sit, be sitting uh, relatively flat uh, like that. So I'll take a, a grinding wheel like this, um, a sanding disc, and I'll just uh, bring it on the inside here till I get it to the right size for, uh, for the case. Um, just a little bit of uh, light sanding on the inside. Once I kind of get it kind of roughly fitting inside the case. Once I kind of get it kind of roughly sitting in the case and this one's still rocking slightly a little bit. Um, I'll start to bevel off the edges uh, on the outside and the inside. You can use sandpaper, anything you want. I, I have good uh, die grinder, so I'll just uh, take a little bit of material down with the die grinder. Just on the, ah! put a bevel onto it. there's a slight bevel on all, all the edges now um, the case has got a slight round to that corner there that's why we need to uh, bevel it on the inside and the outside and then it should start to lay uh, flatter into the case and there now it's ni sitting nice and flat and no rocking and if you look at it here um, here it's sitting uh, nice and flat and that's kind of how you want it. So uh, we got both sides now here sitting nice and flat on uh, both uh, stuffing plates. This one's, there good. this one's also beveled out on all the edges and uh, sitting in there without any rocking. Okay, now we're gonna do a dry fit um, into the case with the crank to make sure the crank's not uh, rubbing onto it and uh, we got it flat into it. So um, on all my cranks and, and all my shafts, like like the clutch here I got ready, I'm going to put in the SAF uh, super clutch into it. Uh, but um, all the areas where the bearings sit, I like to uh, give a quick uh, sand to and uh, polish them off so that the bearings want to go in uh, fairly fairly easy so they're not um, binding as you put it together. If you're binding on your crank or, or your clutch when you put it, the assembly together, it'll also untrue your uh, crank, I find. And uh, you'll throw everything out of whack when you go to put it back together. So you want it to uh, be going together nice and smooth. This one here had uh, two shims on the one side. Right over here. Oops. Okay. 
Okay, that went in there quite nice. Make sure it's all the way down. Then we'll take the top part. Okay, I put the gasket back on. My gasket's broken. Um, I'll, I'll be replacing it with a, a new one, but uh, for testing it uh, as a dry fit, it'll, it'll work. Um, so that had two shims on this side when I took the engine apart. And, oops, yeah, gasket just fell off because, okay. I'm just gonna add a couple of screws to it just so it it gets uh, fairly tight. Cause I'm gonna be taking it apart again. Okay, now well, it's together. Now we can check. Um, you can see the, the stuffing plates are in there. And we're just going to check to see for rubbing. That's the way it should be. It's uh, It hasn't been uh, JB welded in yet. So um, you're going to get a slight bit rubbing, but it is moving freely uh, with the gasket in it. And um, so that's a, that's good. So we're pretty much once 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 that's doing that, and we got it so it's uh, moving freely. Um, then what we can do now is uh, disassemble it, and we can uh, JB weld the plates in because we know it's good. Once uh, now that we pulled it apart after we dry fitted it and tested it in uh, uh, the crank as it turns around, it'll leave little score marks onto the disc. Uh, it's just a tiny little bit there. And let's see if, and just a tiny bit here. It's just really minor, but you'll be able to see, um, see your high spots uh, in the disc, cause it'll show a little scratch mark. So you can, you know, if you, you need to take it down or if it's not sitting flat in that spot, uh, maybe you might have to remove some here to get it a little bit flatter you know do what it takes to get it so it's sitting nice and flat so you don't have any uh, rubbing against the side of the crank all right we got uh, some jb weld here we're just going to mix up uh, 50 50. okay we got about a 50 50 mix here we're just gonna get it all mixed up now Okay, it looks like it's pretty good consistency now. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna just start pasting it on like peanut butter. Okay, it's, um, it's looking pretty even. You don't want it too thick on there. You just want a nice uh, film of it. Uh, because if you put too much on, then that uh, material is gonna build up higher and then it's gonna rub on your crank. So you just want it a nice uh, thin layer onto it. Don't don't worry if you're getting any squish out because you just wipe it off. So that's pretty much how it looks there. Maybe a little bit. Uh, now I'm just going to drop it into case. Trying to get too much all over. And nice and down. And it's gonna squish out, so we're gonna we're gonna fill a little bit into the grooves and cracks, a little bit into here to seal it up. But that looks like it's fitting in there really good. I'm just gonna wipe out. Wipe out of here, and it kind of pushes it into the grooves there. It looks like I need a little bit more. 
into these areas so I'll just fill them in might end up putting a little bit in with my finger as well just to get it in there really good and then I'll just wipe out the excess your finger this isn't the fast drying JB well I wouldn't suggest doing this with the the fast drying JB because uh, you need some time to work with it and uh, it's really important to have these plates uh, nice and flat so you're not getting any rubbing so a nice uh, coat in the inside center there just all the way around those the holes Okay, uh, the outside really doesn't seem to need too much. I'll put a little bit in there. Just push it into the crack there, my finger. Any spots there seem like uh, the bigger cracks anyways. So I'm just pushing it into it. I've had these in the, my engine for uh, uh, like a for a, a year uh, running racing fuel and uh, the JB Weld um, uh, when it pulled the engine apart and uh, did the inspection on it uh, the the plates were as solid as when I first put them in the JBL doesn't uh, break down and that's with racing fuel and uh, um, methanol so Lots of guys say that uh, it breaks down and this and that, but uh, I don't know, I've never seen it break down. Just filling all the little cracks. This is gonna get filled up anyways. So then I'll just wipe it clean. Okay, we've uh, pretty much wiped out all the excess uh, JB weld. Uh, I, I pushed it all into the cracks and corners here. So it's all uh, right in there. I know I left my bearings in there. Uh, these are just, um, these will be coming out. I was just using it to do the dry fit. Uh, make sure it's lined up, you know, straight into uh, your, um, your port. Okay, so now that that, that is done, uh, make sure you don't leave any residue anywhere for it to dry. Uh, nice and smooth. It'd be a really good uh, fuel transfer up through here, up and through it. I'm pretty excited to run this engine actually. Okay, so that was fairly easy so far. Right now, I'm just uh, installing some C clamps on uh, on uh, on the plate. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. I'm just doing it just so it holds it in place while it dries. I'm gonna fill this up yet. I'm just doing this as a demonstration purpose right now. So just a little bit of pressure on it. Get that plate sitting down so it just holds it in place. Nothing. Uh, Nothing, not too much. Don't need a lot of pressure on it. I don't know, you can use three, four C clamps, whatever you can fit in here. Okay, just a little slight pressure onto it. Like that. Is it squishing out a little bit? Just slightly, see how it's uh, squishing out just slightly here? And that's kind of what you want squishing out here that means uh it's going down so just just a little bit of pressure that was a little bit loose and tighten that up a little bit more and only putting um spreading it on uh, really thin uh will make sure like i said it doesn't the plate doesn't sit too high uh so it uh, starts to rub against the crank um, so it'll be uh, really close to our dry fit. And once we put it back together, it should, uh, you shouldn't be rubbing at all. 
because when we did the test, they were uh, uh, tight in there, but uh, slightly loose a little bit and not uh, totally flat. But that's it. We'll let that set up for uh, 24 hours and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, pull it apart and start uh, assembling the engine. Super excited. Uh, uh, MS440 uh, case stuffed. Um, it's going to be a, a reed engine, um, 52 millimeter big bore, uh, 32 millimeter uh, big boy intake. I'm not sure what type of clutch pattern I'm going to do on this side, but um, I don't know. Maybe by then I'll have my uh, my new flame uh, clutch come out, or uh, you know something like that. I'm not sure. Stay tuned.